Good news for the town of Jerome. Recent budget cuts forced the historic state park there to shut its gates. But today, the community of Jerome celebrated its grand reopening. Tony Spehar was at the event and he joins us live. Tony, how was the park able to reopen? Tom, since 1965, the Douglas Mansion has been a state park and it's brought in thousands of tourists. But last year, budget cuts forced the Parks Department to shut it down. That had a ripple effect, not just for the park employees, but for businesses in the town as well. But today, thanks to some hard work and some much needed financial aid, the park is reopened. The day Jerome State Park closed was a bitter one for local business owner Danny Smith. So most of us just thought it was a political game that they were playing to get, get money for the budget. In the small town of 500 people, businesses like Smith's Turquoise Spider depend on tourists to pay their bills. I mean, this town is just for tourists and the history and mining and so forth. So any, any help we get on that, on that side does wonders. The hope is that the tourists will return now that the park has reopened. It was February of 2009 that the State Parks Department was forced to shut the doors of the famous Douglas Mansion because of budget cutbacks and damage to the building. It was a two-edged sword. Um, the first was the part problem that the building was crumbling, but secondly, even when we fixed it, we didn't have the money to reopen it. But thanks to $30,000 from the Yavapai County Board of Supervisors, grants from the State Parks Board, and another 15000 from the Douglas family themselves, the park was able to reopen much sooner than expected. Design and construction is kind of a long process, but I think we did pretty well getting this one closed, fixed, and back open again. Before the park closed, about 60,000 visitors a year traveled to Jerome to visit the mansion and the town. And Danny is hoping they come back and bring their much-needed tourist dollars. Oh, it's great. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it because, like I said, it does bring a lot of people up here, and I'm tired of explaining to people why it's closed. <laughs> Now the park is slated to be open to eight from 8.30 until 5, Thursday through Monday. Park officials are counting on some volunteer support to, keep the, to help keep the costs down and to keep the doors open. And from downtown Phoenix, I'm Tony 